So to help us get better acquainted with triple integrals and Cartesian coordinates, let's look at an introductory example where we find the volume using a triple integral. So suppose we want to use a triple integral here to find the volume of a box such that x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 1, that y is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 2, and z is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 3. So let's start by sketching this region. So we know x is from 0 to 1, y is from 0 to 2, and so we can do, 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 find that two-dimensional region here. And then we have that z is from 0 to 3. So let's give this our best shot again. If you have graphing paper, this will be particularly helpful. And here we go. So we're starting to see that rectangular box here. All right. So this is what we want to find the volume of. And yes, we can use length times width times height, but let's confirm that our triple integral here can also do the same because we won't always have such cute regions. So we are looking for the volume of this box. All right, so because all of our bounds here are constants, the order of integration in which you choose is totally up to you, right? Pick your favorite order of integration and go for it. So here I'm gonna uh, encourage you to try this order first. We have dz, dy, dx. But again, play around with these different orders. So setting up our volume integral, this is the integral over that solid region d of f of x, y, z, dv. And so here again, we're using the order dz, dy, dx. So my outer bounds are dx, so that's from 0 to 1. The middle integral is y, so from 0 to 2. And the inner integral are the bounds from 0 to 3. And now since we're using, if we think back to the area integral using a double integral, we let the integrand be 1. So if we're trying to find the volume using a triple integral, we again let that integrand be 1, dz, dy, dx. And the reason behind this is because we're finding length times width times height. And so I can actually, because the bounds are constant, we can separate this out to three separate integrals. This is the integral from 0 to 1, dx, multiplied by the integral from 0 to 2, dy multiplied by the integral from 0 to 3 dz. And we already know what these evaluate to. The integral from 0 to 1 is going to leave us with 1. The integral from 0 to 2 with respect to y leaves us with 2. And the integral from 0 to 3 leaves us with 3, giving us the volume of this box, 6 cubic units. This is our beautiful final answer. We want to be mindful here. We need to make some conclusions about the observations that we've just made. So a couple of little notes to keep in mind as we proceed through this section is that finding the volume with a triple integral allows us to vary that function as one. So finding the volume with a triple integral allows us to let the integrand f of x, y, z be equal to 1. And again, this is because we're integrating over a three-dimensional region. We already have the height times the length times the width. And the other thing I want you to be mindful of is that we can only separate a triple integral into three separate integrals like we've done here when the bounds are constant. So we can only separate a triple integral as we did above
when the bounds are constant. If there are variables within the bounds, the order of integration is more crucial. So we can't separate them out because the integral's value depends upon the previous evaluation.